taking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. With Crypto Lights here, we're back with another video, guys. So we're going to talk about Pepe, OG Pepe. I talked about Pepe 2 the other day. We're going to talk about Pepe, the original Pepe, today. Okay, guys, and it looks like it is breaking out. All right, guys, it's breaking out. And um, could this be the, you know, the beginning of the continuation of the bull run for Pepe? Um, not only is Pepe breaking out, but you can actually stake Pepe over on Pulse Chain and pair up LP with Pulse Chain Pepe and Ethereum Pepe and actually earn a decent yield. It has come down from yesterday. It was around a thousand percent APR. It's now down to about 75% APR, 76% uh, APR uh, if you pair it up with PLS. Nevertheless, still a very nice APY on Pepe um, over on Pulse Chain. And you can actually transact your Ethereum Pepe because obviously it's bridged over. You can transact it for much cheaper gas fees than on Ethereum. So this is going to take Pepe out of circulation. Of course, it's not locked, okay, but it's going to take Pepe out of circulation. And in turn, what we see is the price of Pepe uh, pumping. I'm not, I'm not saying this because of that, but um, things are looking good for the Pepe chart. Okay, we had this initial pump over here or, or this reversal over here. It found some good ground and it's held above this level and now it is starting to break out um, Break out of this level. So what this shows is that the weak hands potentially are out of Pepe and the strong hands are holding and accumulating Pepe. So that does look really good in my opinion. Um, at the end of the day, this is a highly speculative play. It's a very degen play. Despite it being listed on major exchanges, it is still a meme coin. Okay. But if we think of something like Shiba or Dogecoin, all right, guys. Obviously, those were um, those were last bull runs um, top coins, top meme coins. Uh, Pepe could be it, it could follow in their footsteps, as far as I'm concerned. Right? The market cap went to 1.6 billion in the previous run. Um, of course, it is down now to where is it? Right now, it is down to. 711 million okay guys so um you know it's had a pullback a very decent pullback but it's had that reverse pump reversal pump and you know we don't know whether this could go back to all-time high or even break all-time high but there's a lot of potential for that when you consider co the community the sentiment uh, for this actual token previous performance of similar types of altcoins and um Still, I'd say there's a lot of hype around this project. So, uh, really and truly, we could see this go past the 1 billion, go towards the 10 billion, for example. You know, if it does a 10x from there. Um, Shiba Inu itself is still seeing at, if we look at the uh, if we look at the market cap on Shiba Inu, um, that is still at a 5 billion despite a major pullback. Okay, guys. So, you know, could Pepe reach those levels? Um, the potential is there. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but the potential is there. And it's more likely to happen with Pepe than it is with a bunch of other meme coins that we've been looking at. Uh, because Pepe has the one, is the one that's been accepted and you could say mass adopted by all the exchanges and so on. Okay, guys. So, although we are aping into some of these other meme coins like Pepe 2, Son of Pepe and all these types of, you know, Pepe spin-off tokens. And we can't forget original pepe okay guys um it always happens you get the og token you get a bunch of other spin-off tokens that do well maybe in the short term some even in the mid to long term still do well okay guys like the amount of spin-off dog tokens that came from shiba inu dogecoin and so on uh, pepe uh, we can't forget about original pepe okay guys so i just wanted to make this video because we are breaking out so i'm curious to see as to whether we start making our way up towards the previous all-time high and whether we break the all-time high okay it's not going to go in a straight line however but um yeah i wanted to make this update video so let me know what you think in the comments guys um do me a favor and subscribe to the channel tick the little bell for notifications like the video which helps with the youtube algorithm and i'll see you in the next one